It's an eternal management question. How do you motivate an employee to do something? For starters, how about a good kick in the pants? In a classic article, Frederick Herzberg actually gives the kick in the pants option careful consideration. While it may be popular, he argues, it is at best an inelegant and cruel short-term solution that a manager does to the employee. A manager's goal should be to get employees to move forward on their own without being pushed. To do this, Herzberg makes a crucial distinction about job satisfaction. It is not the opposite of job dissatisfaction. In fact, there are completely distinct factors that affect happiness versus unhappiness on the job. Herzberg calls the causes of job dissatisfaction hygiene factors, basic external needs like a decent salary, safe working conditions, and job security. It's easy to see how an employee could be disgruntled without such basics. However, while it is important to address these hygiene factors to eliminate dissatisfaction, they do little to actually motivate a person to higher performance. Herzberg argues that a second simultaneous approach is needed. Management should also focus on an entirely different set of internal factors to boost job satisfaction, such as challenging work, autonomy, recognition, and advancement. These factors engage employees so that they become self-motivated to perform well time and again. So once again, motivating employees requires a two-pronged approach. Managers should first ensure that employees are happy with the basic external needs of salary and work environment. At the same time, they also need to make sure that people's jobs are personally satisfying and that good work is recognized. And the kick in the pants option? Best to avoid that one unless you're hoping to motivate your employee to kick you back in return.